Oklahoma means low cost of living, affordable housing, attractive mid-sized cities, and productive economy with enjoyable four season weather. However, Oklahoma has 10th highest violent crime rate and 6th highest property crime rate. No doubt there are several best places to live, raise a family, or retire in the state. But there are some areas that you should not move to because of high crime rates, poverty, unfair wages, and few other reasons. To help you avoid these areas, we have prepared a list of top 10 worst places to live in Oklahoma. Artmore is a city nearly 192 miles far from Oklahoma City with roughly population of 25,000 residents. The poverty rate is upsetting 20% with unemployment rate of 5%. With total crime nearly 131% higher than national average, the chance of being victim of crime in the city is 1 in 19. The property crime is 132% and violent crime is 124% higher than US average. At least 215 violent incidents were reported, including 17 rapes and 186 assaults last year. Falls Valley is a small town nearly 53 miles far from Oklahoma City with a population of 6,000 residents. The poverty rate is worrisome 25% with unemployment rate of 5%. The median household income is roughly $38,000 which is 30% lower than national average. With total crime nearly 117% higher than national average. The chance of being victim of crime in the city is 1 in 20. The property crime is 125% and violent crime is 77% higher than US average. At least 42 violent incidents were reported including 1 murder, 5 rapes and 32 assaults last year. Stillwell Strawberry capital of the world is a small town nearly 80 miles far from Tulsa with roughly population of 4,000 residents. The poverty rate is skyrocketing 39% with unemployment rate of 6.6%. The median household income is roughly $27,000 which is 56% lower than national average. With total crime nearly 66% higher than national average. The chance of being victim of crime in the city is 1 in 34. Education, safety, housing and employment are major obstacles to live in the city. Pontka City is a city nearly 72 miles far from Tulsa with roughly population of 24,000 residents. The city is famous for the Pioneer Woman Statue and Museum. The poverty rate is roughly 17% with unemployment rate of 6.5%. With total crime nearly 121% higher than national average, the chance of being victim of crime in the city is 1 in 20. The property crime is 126% and violent crime is 99% higher than US average. At least 181 violent incidents were reported, including two murders, 19 rapes and 126 assaults last year. Broken Bow is a small city and gateway to Beaver's Bend State Park in Oklahoma with a population of 4,100 residents. The poverty rate is most worrying 36% with unemployment rate of 5%. With total crime nearly 159% higher than national average, the chance of being victim of crime in the city is 1 in 17. The property crime is 172% and violent crime is 71% higher than US average. The median household income is roughly $32,000 
which is 50% lower than national average. Education, safety, housing, and employment are major drawbacks to live in the city. Tulsa is the second largest city in Oklahoma on the Arkansas River with size of almost 400,000 residents. Tulsa is one of the most violent cities to live in the state. The violent crime is 192% and property crime is 161% higher than national average, with total crime nearly 166% higher than the national average. The chance of being victim of the crime in this city is 1 in 17. Tulsa is the worst city to live for women in the state. At least 4,500 violent incidents were reported, including 72 murders, 378 rapes, and 3,364 assaults last year. The poverty rate is nearly 18% with unemployment rate of 6.2%. The median household income is roughly $50,000, which is 22% lower than national average. Muskogee is the 11th largest city in the state on the Arkansas River, nearly 45 miles far from Tulsa, with roughly a population of 37,000 residents. Muskogee is one of the most violent cities to live in this state. The violent crime is 212% and property crime is 79% higher than national average, with total crime nearly 101% higher than national average. The chance of being victim of crime in the city is 1 in 22. At least 446 violent incidents were reported, including three murders. 33 rapes and 367 assaults last year. Considering 33 rapes, it is certainly not a safe city for women. The poverty rate is distressing 24% with unemployment rate of 7.5%. The median household income is roughly $38,000, which is 35% lower than national average. Employment and safety are major limitations to live in this city. Akmogi is a city nearly 38 miles south of Tulsa with roughly population of 12,000 residents. The poverty rate is now ranking 24% with unemployment rate of 11%. The median household income is roughly $31,500 which is 48% lower than national average with total crime nearly 108% higher than the national average. The chance of being victim of crime in this city is 1 in 21. The property crime is 119% and violent crime is 51% higher than national average. At least 68 violent incidents were reported including 3 murders, 6 rapes and 47 assaults last year. Employment and safety are major issues to live in this city. Enedarko is a small town nearly 49 miles far from Oklahoma City with roughly a population of 6,600 residents, with total crime nearly 154% higher than national average. It is certainly one of the dangerous cities to live in the state. The chance of being victim of crime in the city is 1 in 17. The property crime is 156% and violent crime is 139% higher than national average. At least 60 violent incidents were reported including 2 rapes and 54 assaults last year. The poverty rate is daunting 27% with unemployment rate of 11.2%. The median household income is roughly $30,000 which is 47% lower than national average. Employment safety and housing are major pitfalls to live in the city.
Idabel is a small town nearly 170 miles far from Tulsa with roughly a population of 6800 residents. It is one of the most dangerous cities to live in the state with total crime nearly 230% higher than the national average. The chance of being victim of crime in the city is 1 in 14. The property crime is 226% and violent crime is 146% higher than national average. At least 65 violent incidents were reported, including 3 murders, 7 rapes and 44 assaults last year. That is not all. The poverty rate is troubling 32% with unemployment rate of 7.2%. The median household income is roughly $29,000, which is 50% lower than national average. Employment, safety, education and housing are major drawbacks to live in this city. Please like, comment and share this video and subscribe our channel. Press bell icon to see updates on our latest videos.